Hello, this is Mike Live, and welcome to PHP Programming in 5 Lessons by Lively. And in the previous lessons, we pretty much covered uh, Eclipse and basic syntax, uh, control logic functions and classes, design, and MySQL databases. And in this lesson, we're going to look at sessions, login, and security. So let's go to lesson four. Now the website has been updated. It's a full XML template now, so you can plug any course in here that you want. And uh, in this particular series of videos, we are looking at sessions, login, and security. We start off with cookies and sessions. We build a session class, and we talk about creating a MySQLi improved relational database query. Not a lot of info out there on the web, so you want to really run and take a look at this code. Uh, gives you some, gives you a nice class you could actually use to create a, a relational database in Adobe Flash Builder. Then we go to the important topic of encrypting passwords, and we tell you how to hack passwords and to use what's called salt security. We pick up where the topic we've left behind is super globals. Then we look at the super global server. Then we talk about authentication, and we build a user's class. And once you start talking about authentication, you kind of open up your system. It's like an open cut that infection can get into. And typically, one of the most horrendous infections you can get in a database is SQL injection. And so we do a lesson on SQL injection and teach you how to mitigate its effects. And then we talk about creating a full login session class. And finally, uh, another security item using getters and setters. So on this side, you can actually click on here and download the notes or the code for the course. And what I want you to do for the assignment today, of course, is download and run all the example code. Develop your own login system sequence. So let's go to Eclipse, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So in Eclipse right now, in Lesson 56, you have the login class. And when you click on that, up comes the program here. And there's the found users class. And in my found users class, I basically have three conditions. If the user is found and logged in, then just print out uh, you are already logged in. If the user is found and you're not logged in, then go ahead and log him in. And if the user is not found and you're not logged in, then then print out user not found, try a new password. So you may want to change the sequence, uh, maybe not the sequence here, maybe the flow of the program somewhere else. So just make a minor modification just so I know that you know what's happening with the program. Run the program and learn to, in a sense, hack or recode it because this is great boilerplate that you can use for anything. And uh, so I hope you get some use out of this particular class. Let's go back. And finally, what I want you to do, I want you to write some code that protects you against SQL injection, specifically the characters uh, percent and underscore, which are basically can be used against the like statement in SQL. Let's go back to Eclipse. So if you go to Lesson 55, that's where we deal with uh, escaping characters, basically. And we use the method mysqli underscore real underscore escape underscore string basically to uh, escape uh, quotes and backslashes and some basic characters. But what's not taken care of in this particular lesson is uh, dealing with the percent and underscore. So make sure you write some code so that you understand SQL so you can escape other characters that are not included in the mysql real escape string. So, so next time we're going to be building Facebook applications and basically summarizing everything we've learned so far. So uh, this was Mike Lively and I'll see you next time. Happy programming.